Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, today we'll be continuing on where we left off at last time. We are just going to be uh, delivering this uh, service trader uh, to uh, Smithville Dam. I think that's part of uh, Winter Stores, which we are, or the, I guess, quest line that we are now starting to uh, make some progress on. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure where we're we getting the vehicle spare parts, but we'll just see. Either way, we'll probably take a little uh, fjording rebreak in the middle of it, just because um, the logistics base in Smithville, there, if I'm mistaken, it's, is that really, really far section. Uh, far north, like uh, opposite to the mountain, just uh, across that very, very deep river. Either way, I don't expect to have too much issues with it. Well, we are still running the Fleet Star because we left it here uh, from uh, the very, very gruesome um, construction rig transfer which we did that last time, which I'm very sorry, guys. I honestly... Uh, I, I it just uh, flew by me that it's the, actually the 14th episode and I didn't give it any cool... Uh, Operation code name like I did with the, our first breakout in in uh, Smithville Dam, like Operation Black Mamba. This this totally should be in like a uh, ridiculous operation name, to be honest, because that was literally one of the most difficult things we've done in the game so far. Uh, to be fair, it's entirely possible that I really should not have done it with the Fleet Star. It, again, it's one of uh, our strongest trucks, and even we, even with it, couldn't exactly handle it. We had situations where it got stuck. We had situations where basically we just needed more force. Um, but on that note, uh, I'm hoping. I don't think we'll have the time to tame, but uh, I'm pretty sure that the next uh, episode we will be going down and exploring the last little end corner of Drummond Island there and taking up the I think it was the P16 something like that yeah uh, which is a, a heavy truck more or less the big boys of the game I I have bought the P12, uh, I have enough money uh, at this point to actually buy an experiment with them. So I did buy the P12 and I can see uh, why I would want one of those ridiculously huge trucks. However, uh, between the differences between the P12 and the P16, uh, I just haven't gotten that. I will probably do a side-by-side -side comparison and decide on one of them after I uh, recovered the P16, which I think is for Michigan. Uh, the last unlockable truck that we uh, have. Now, uh, we still have a lot of things to get from Alaska, and it's, uh, it's getting really, really hard for me to just find not going into Alaska. Especially since I realized that uh, for level I'm now 11, we have already unlocked the chain tires for the Chevrolet. So we do have a Chain tires capable scout already available. So I'm not exactly sure where we'll be sitting with that, but for sure we will need to get into Alaska probably earlier than earlier than later. I'm not exactly sure I would want to go into the end tier, well late game action of um Michigan without the upgrades that we'll get through Alaska. So uh, we'll see. I don't exactly want to bore you guys with a lot of, uh, well, not exactly bore, but you know, just uh, another five episodes, whatever, of uh, me exploring uh, all of Alaska with, uh, with the Chevrolet. But uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, how we feel about it. Either way, I'm uh, kind of glad we are go getting back. <coughs> Sorry, uh, we are getting back to 
doing the main quests. We have been putting them off a fair bit while you know doing most of that random tasks along the way. And uh, it's obvious that some of the most, most uh, exciting content and you know I guess interesting content is within those uh, contracts, those chain contracts, those chain story missions. Leveling wise, uh, at this point we're level 11, uh, 1000 XP away from level 12. We are starting to uh, unlock purchasable trucks by this point. Uh, I think I saw like one or two which we had unlocked by this point. I'm not gonna give much uh, look at because we're already having our heads full with uh, trucks already available. But it we will be needing to more or less move on and upgrade our fleet from uh, the current pay star and the fleet star. It's gonna be sad for me when I'm choosing other trucks instead of these. Uh, actually, between episodes, I actually sold the, the Western Star. Uh, the reason for that was because I, I don't think I need more offer capability in these trucks. Just as we've seen from the um, Construction ring mishap that was using one of our strongest pulling trucks available. The Western Star has less power to weight ratio, and uh, even in that case, we're having issues. So I, I would rather just have one super strong pulling truck, uh, which may be one of the heavy trucks, but uh, I still want to keep a small frame one for some of the. Uh, you know, slightly more constrained uh, roads and stuff like that. It, don't get me wrong; we still have we will have a we we'll still have a, a role for those uh, big trucks. I, I just want to get my hands on them and see how they handle and uh, how they actually work on um, on you know, not wide roads like we're having here. Because at this point, uh, the Fleet Star is utterly certified. I know what it can do, what it can't do, I and I know when I would want to use it. But I love that about um, about Stormrunner. For as much as all the vehicles are, you know, the same but different, uh, it takes a lot just to get a real feel for all of them. So, where is that? Where is that logistic space? Right, it's right here, all the way back here. I think this was an empty area, wasn't it? When we delivered the um, the concrete slab to Tim, uh, this was a completely empty area, wasn't it? I don't remember. Anyways, uh, we are supposed to be delivering the this maintenance trailer there. Uh, so before we actually take a Check out the path. Let's just go straight for the fueling station. Let's get that solved. Uh, I'm not going. I mean, uh, if I remember correctly, it's possible there is a slight bug where you have to deliver that maintenance trader or whatever service trader in general in exactly the state where that you pick it off. So this is now full with uh, fuel and service parts. Uh, we can totally do like refuel or something. The problem. Is that if we, it's possible that if we refuel off, off of it, we will not be able to complete the mission. Uh, we'll have to actually refuel the tank again. But we'll see if uh, it actually comes to that. Let's uh, turn the engine off for a second and let's have a look at the route. Uh, we are sticking with the main roads, uh, although by this point, uh, I'm kind of wary of uh, using uh, off-road tires on uh, roads. I really would want to go back to using uh, all-terrain tires 
because we've had so much road slippage uh, on these roads that it becomes uh, problematic. So, uh, the only actual physical route that we know is the one back behind the farm. I'm not sure how usable this is. Uh, so we'll have to go straight through here. This is not the paystar, so I don't know how we'll be handling this section here. Maybe... I mean, we've tried and we've seen that, um, uh, that the actual monkey farms are even worse. But I'm wondering whether there's an option to you know skip it through here or something i don't know let's let's just try straight down we have enough trees to winch ourselves if we need to uh head step straight up through here oh actually we did leave a fuel carrier that's amazing yeah so we can totally refuel off of this one and hmm, past that point i guess we are we're going oh yeah this route we've done this before I think even with the uh, fleet star, it's been practicable. Oh, cool. Uh, so for the two vehicle parts that we need for this is exactly this flatbed trader here. For sure, we'll be doing it via that instead of actually uh, looking for where, wherever these vehicle, vehicle spare parts are to be picked up from in this map, which I don't think... Wow, is there no pickup? Oh no, for the service hub, there we go. Anyways, uh, let's finish up this route and let's head out. We still have a lot of... Uh, a lot of kilometers to burn through. Let's do that logistics pace. I actually realized what we're missing in the game uh, just now by uh, leaving the fuel station. We have that little background, the tune, which is supposed to be playing uh, like you know through the station radio or something. We don't have any in-car radio. I mean, I guess it, the licensing costs, but there are a lot of artists out there that you know, don't take an arm and a leg. They've they totally built little radio station, you know, with country music or whatever specific, country specific music. Uh, and that would be really cool because you know as uh, you know in immersive as the game is with uh, hearing the trucks and roaring and skidding and the winching and all of those uh, great sounds it would still be nice to have a, a tune to switch on to on these uh, very long and I would imagine at this point uh, depending on where you are with upgrades and trucks, sometimes they can even become uninteresting. Uh, I know that uh, you've seen me uh, just uh, start skipping a lot more uh, of the basic logistics moving from A to B um, uh, sections instead of actually you know, recording them and showing them to you guys, just because they make it slightly less interesting to see. Even between the last episode and this episode, even though if you guys saw, we more or less picked up at the same spot. I did just uh, take a refueling uh, run out there. I, I think it was I just took a Chevrolet with uh, with the tanks up top, and I just took that over. So I topped this off in case uh, we run out of fuel. Just you know, five kilometers off from the uh, fuel station, just to avoid that kind of uh, mid-episode logistics.
way still with uh, the off-road tires and you know pulling this trailer with this power to weight ratio we're doing this a lot better than we did with the pace star i mean if you guys remember we did the run with pace star through this um, and we had trouble we actually had to winch ourselves and that was delivering yeah i think we delivered in the fuel truck the first uh, the fuel truck will be refueling out fuel trailer we'll be refueling out uh, after we cross this um, section here and it's more or less the same weight maybe a bit heavier and i think that's with the mud tires on the off-road truck so hmm weight matters a lot more in this game than actually being super suited to the terrain itself I mean so yeah uh, we've been coming back to this conclusion a fair bit in uh, the last few episodes but pulling power just actually raw truck power is very important I mean sure with all-wheel drive and with all the differential options and with uh, gearboxes and with everything else yeah I, I get it but um, you know those matter those add uh, a lot to the capabilities of the truck you know tires and stuff, stuff like that but uh, at the end of the day, you know, you still want that extra power. And the difference in weight between uh, trucks, between the Paystar and the uh, Flipstar, for example, just doesn't seem to be enough to differentiate them for off-road. I mean, uh, more, more or less, you'll be hauling cargo, right? So it's a matter of it's very rare. Sorry about that. It's very rare that we will um, be doing just a naked runs, right? Without any cargo or you know, just with a flatbed in the back. So yeah, we've definitely seen even for off-road that, uh, that the fleet star has been fantastic. Let's okay, attach a trailer. Let's grab some fuel. up yeah, let's head back okay, I'm pretty sure that's not gonna attach yep Okay, let's uh, head out. I think we'll uh, have enough time today to actually finish this mission and uh, also deliver those uh, spare parts from that uh, flatbed. I don't much remember the terrain on the uh, that uh, side of the map, we've only realistically been up there once so far, but I'm hoping uh, it won't be uh, causing us any issues. I mean, uh, even, in, yeah, not including, I guess, uh, Lake Island, Island Lake, whatever. Sort of this section of the map is more or less as far as you would get. Maybe you know tied with uh, some areas in uh, Drummond Island. So it would take like uh, another truck, with a fuel tank of uh, gas, just to get here and help us out if we end up uh, tipped over or something. I 
is actually struggling with uh, the first gear of auto when I'm switching up. So let's uh, differential lock and use the um, high low range. I'm pretty sure it has a better <laughs> name than what I'm calling it the high low range or other low high range. That's pretty bendy. Actually, we should probably switch down at this point. Oh, are we stuck? Oh wow, we are quite stuck-ish. Okay, let's um, set up winch. There, slow and steady wins the race. Let's see if we can switch up. Yeah, we can. We have the grip. Let me totally switch up to the low plus. Also, uh, I did do a bit of background research on the different wheel types. So basically, for you know off road, you have a choice between dualies, I mean dual rear tires, um, and single um, meteor tires like we be, like we having for the Paystar for the longest of time. Uh, and the difference is that these dual ones do better on road and the single ones do better on uh, very muddy terrain. I haven't really done any changes according to that new information, but possible that we will keep the fleet star with the road tires but we for sure will uh, go back to the better single fatter tires on the um, on the base star for as long as we're going to be using the base star anyway is clearing up. Let's try and recover some, some of that time by uh, switching to auto. A bit of speed out the gearbox. Also, um, even gearbox related. Uh, I've uh, I put the Chevrolet back on the normal gearbox. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Let's uh, check this, make sure we're, we're solid. There we go. Uh, I put the Chevrolet on a balanced gearbox back because we didn't really, we're not really doing any pulling things with it, and it has enough power and enough juice to handle. Okay, okay, let's let's be careful here. Okay, I was saying it has enough juice to handle the train. It doesn't really need the off-road gearbox per se, and that was actually cutting into our um, uh, fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency has been a problem with the with the Chevrolet. Okay, what's happening here? I'm not exactly sure. Is the service trailer stuck? Oh. Whether it was stuck or not, it's unstuck now. It's again, just that it doesn't go like bling or something, and you don't really know if you did it 
the only way we actually know that we successfully done this was because at the top there it just went away in the tracker the objective went away which is annoying i really would have liked to have a notice um now given that we did complete this and the service truck is here let's uh let's refuel <laughs> let's just refuel off of it why not and let's uh let's take a shortcut why why will we go around let's just take that shortcut because we are fully off-road capable and grab this syria here shouldn't be that bad actually quite forested to be honest. Is there any less forested area? Yeah, not really, no. You can try via this path, maybe it's uh, slightly clearer by the graphics by the, on the map, but I, as we know the graphics on the map, they're more or less mm, barely corresponding to real life. But yeah, let's see, because I can see a little bit of clearing here, that, let's see if this will be enough. Yep, there we go, perfect. Found our little hole in the forest. Okay, let's take it easy here. And head straight down, easy, 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 easy. I don't like this tilting, no way, no how. There we go. There we go. Perfection. Okay. That shaved uh, 15 minutes or 10 minutes off out, uh, out of our uh, little trip here. Right, so let's grab these vehicle parts. this quest here? I have a quest here? Oh yeah, we have uh, delivered two fuel to Forrester's house, more fuel. Mm. Yeah, honestly, if I would have known Maybe I would have also grabbed the fuel as well. Uh, oh well, that's a secondary. I just uh, skipped my mind. I just focused on... Also, we're in a very bad spot here. What the hell? There we go. Again, we'll be doing that task all the time. But you know, it just uh, it comes back to efficiency. Wanted to uh, do all the things in one go, not do uh, multiple runs if you can. And I've seen that people can go pretty insane with that to the point where uh, they do like towing okay, a truck with a trailer, towing a tuck, a truck with a trailer. Just so they can get maximum. Uh... Okay, what's the problem here with the winch? We're... That's not even moving. We are moving. We shouldn't be moving. Okay. Uh, am I s horribly underestimating how uh, heavy these are? They were, they were just uh, slightly, it was slightly stuck. Let's 
let's see if we can successfully head this around without getting it stuck on that power telephone pole, whatever it is. There we go. Let's uh, sit down the path. Um, hmm. Are we? Will we? Should we? Is that smart? Hmm. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. It's probably a terrible idea, and I'll hate myself if we flip this. But yeah, I'm sure we're switching to the low gear. Wow, we're getting bogged down, aren't we? those vehicle parts weigh a significant amount. It'd be nice to see the weight of that somewhere, I think. Yeah. Uh, when you have a trailer, an actual semi-trailer, it changes your vehicle characteristics uh, in the upper left here. So it lowers your part weight and stuff like that. But when you have a trailer, I don't think that changes anything. Either way, let's see if we can do this. up as straight as we can. I don't like this bounciness. Let's lower the gearing down a bit. Less speed, less bounce. Uh, let's try going on the right hand side here if we have any kind of direction. Because right now the front of the truck is rarely touching the ground, thus we were we are not Is that stuck in a tree? Yes, that is stuck in the tree. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's do this. this free but I don't think so okay the thing is I don't wanna rotate my truck way too much tilt it we don't need to take that very Hope that doesn't get stuck there. Oops, I forgot to let her go of that winch. That was quite a bungee. Okay, uh, now this will be slightly difficult because we have almost no control over the trailer. Easy there. Okay, let's take a bit of a wider berth here. I don't want to get that stuck in the tree. And it gets stuck in the tree? Of course, it got stuck in the tree. Let's see if we can uh, pull the back a bit. Okay, that doesn't help us much. Go 
Okay, easy there, no tip. my trailers more than I like trailers sorry about it guys mm. is that getting stuck yet again okay it is Before uh, this should have been a shorter route. <sighs> okay, let's try putting this backwards if it will, we, all, we can at all. There we go. That cleared out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Minus this tree, we just <clears throat> ran flat into. Do this very slowly. I don't wanna. Get that stuck in another tree. Well, uh, okay. I wish they kind of went straight here, but I don't think we have much choice in the matter anymore. Safety winch, but for sure we'll get this stuck in a tree, probably. Mm, okay, shouldn't be a huge deal. We can totally flip straight back enough to go around. save time he said to be more efficient he said This is almost well and truly horribly stuck in here. Well, we can do something. We can dash the trailer. Move the truck over to the slightly more clear side. That's without us getting stuck. Uh, okay, hand break off. There we go. And against the tree. Oh wow, that's bad. Huh. Okay, let's see if we can... Cheese that. 
Now, what we want to do here is take it really slow. There we go. That, that does it. Straighten that out. There we go. Hmm. Okay, we can totally solve that with a bit of winching. There we go. There we go. That's how you do it. And I think we're home free. I think that could have been easier, but oh well. Uh, let's be smart because we know that this uh, service uh, trailer will go away at the moment we complete this quest. So let's refuel now and then deliver it. There we go. Uh, drilling operations maintained. Winter stores. Yep, we're all set now. Thank you. You can get whatever parts you need to repair the tower directly from our warehouse. Cool. Thanks. That's a lot of XP and a lot of uh, things. Uh, we have a we still have the trailer. I thought this would have went away with the uh, with the completion, but I don't think so. Right. Right now we can get drilling spare parts from here, uh, which. We will need for something, I guess. Again, uh, we'll see if there's anything chained to this uh, mission. Uh, I guess you we can repair from here. Anyways, um, let's shut up the engine. Uh, it's possible that the next quest is chained. Refer to the drilling site oil rig drill, right, from the service hub. Metal beams from the right, and the construction rig semi-trailer. Wow. Yeesh, this is some pretty horrible cargo transfer. I mean, we have to deliver another construction rig, which we know is bad. It's horrible. From Drummond Island, which is here, and oh my lord. That's gonna be a horribly huge route, let alone going through these areas which we had issues with just a simple cargo, let alone this ridiculous trailer. Okay, and the old rig. Anyways, we'll, we'll see. We can't really do that yet. We need to do um, harbor delivery first. And for that, we need to do instrumental delivery, instrumental development, and for that, we need to do these two. Anyways, um, I was wondering whether. Uh, the drill bits here would require for anything, but I don't think so. I'm not seeing any specific things. In any case, uh, we'll handle that in the next episode. Uh, either way, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this episode, if you like the series, please click like, get subscribed, all that good stuff. Uh, I am putting out these episodes uh, daily. I'm trying to stick them from I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes. I know this one went just slightly bit over, but well, it happens sometimes, so I try to make it a rare occurrence. Either way, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.